Welcome back, boys and girls. Last time we were learning how to compare fractions and how to write them. Today, I'm going to teach you about equivalent fractions. The word equivalent means equal, so they have to be exactly the same. We're going to use the fraction circles. And I'm just going to use this hole. We already know what could be equal to a whole. That was in the first lesson. Today, we're going to learn what could be equivalent to one half. So what could fit in here? I'm going to leave this one here, and then I'm going to see what can fit in here. Can thirds fit on this side? Can we make thirds equal to one half? Uh-oh. It doesn't work. It's too big. So thirds does not work. We cannot make thirds equal to a half. Can we make fourths equal to a half? One fourth. Two fourths. Oh, two fourths can equal a half. I'm going to put them here so you can see that. Can we make fifths equal to the half? One-fifth, two-fifths, uh-oh, this piece is too big too, that's not going to work. Let's try and see if we can get sixths to fit in here. One-sixth, two-sixths, three-sixths, look, three-sixths is equal to one-half. Let's put them over here like this. Can we make sevenths fit in this side? Let's try. One seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths. Uh-oh, this piece is too big. It's not gonna fit. So sevenths won't work. Can we make an equivalent fraction with one half and one some eighths? Let's see. One eighth. Two eighths. Three eighths. Four eighths. Oh my goodness, four eighths works. Let's slide this over and we'll put those four eighths right underneath the eighths here so you can see it. Do you think nine will, ninths will work? I wonder, can you predict? One ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths. Uh-oh, this one's not gonna fit. It's too big. So if you predicted that ninths would not work, you were right. Let's try tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, oops, sorry, four, three, four tenths, five tenths, oh, five tenths works. Let's put them here and so that they're still sort of partway on the carpet anyway, and you can see them. So have a look at all of these. Now look at the numbers. It didn't work with thirds. It didn't work with fifths. It didn't work with sevenths. It didn't work with ninths. But it did work with halves, fourths sixths, eighths, and tenths. If you made the observation that it works when the denominator is an even number, you were really looking very carefully 